Now then, welcome back to Free to Play Fridays. And today we have a very special free to play game that's just been released on the beta. This is Nozgoth. Nozgoth is part of the Legacy of Cain uh, range, as it were, the franchise. Uh, but it's a completely different style of game. This is a PvP arena match game. And it is quite epic. From what I've played of it so far, which is not very much, I have made my mind up that I like it. I've played two matches. The first match, after the little tutorials, the first match was epic. Uh, didn't do a lot of killing, didn't didn't do a lot of much really. It was a noob game with other noobs, uh, but it was fun, fun to play. This is a review of it, um, but not a review of the game. The game I don't know enough about to review just yet. Uh, I don't know enough details, I haven't pushed all the buttons, I haven't played it for long enough. I just was raring to go and get on with recording what uh, what could be a very good multiplayer game. It's a 4v4 arena match game. Vampires versus humans. Uh, this game was... Uh, well, it was passed on to me, put into my inbox as it were, by Thrak, who spotted it and thought it was an excellent game and could be really good to do some multiplayer. So... As soon as you like this video, please leave us a comment and say you want to see some multiplayer co um, action going on with me and my friends playing a bit of Nosgoth. Uh, you'll get to see the actual in-game footage shortly. This is this is the Noscam. It's an option. You can save your games and look at them again later. Uh, and this is free camera mode. There's free camera mode or locked camera mode. I can actually... Follow Nemson, who was <laughs> ripping some heads open at the time. <laughs> you play the vampires or humans. Let me just explain the basic concept. Uh, in the match that I played, we started off playing the vampires. And then in the second half of the match, we played the humans and our opponent team played the vampires. Uh, that was a special ability of the vampires to feed off the dead. Once you've knocked somebody down, you're able to... Uh, feed off them and drink them and get all your health back. That's like a, a health boost by drinking the dead. Uh, the vampires are very agile, as you can see. Running up and down walls and uh, whipping about. But mostly melee, it seems. Mostly melee. And so getting into melee range against these ranged combat opponents of the human hunters with their massive crossbows and bombs and things is quite hard work sometimes. The vampires can struggle to get there. And that was a vampire exploding right there. Um, you respawn, you've got many lives, and I think it's like first to 30 deaths or something wins the, the round of the match. And then you swap sides uh, and basically have another, ma uh, another round of combat using the other one. It's about 10 minutes a match that I've seen so far. So we'll probably get a couple of matches in in this episode. Hopefully, I don't get stuck with some players who are posing as noobs, even though they've been around the uh, block a few times, not just starting. Hopefully, I get put with the same sort of class of player as me, so that we can have some fun and get some kills and see some real action in the game. And... Pring. <laughs> There's lots of special moves for the different uh, characters. There's like four different heroes on each team. And we just absolutely got annihilated there, didn't we? <laughs> they come around the corner and we were both just standing there. But it was both up. Uh, there's a lot of difference between the characters. A lot of difference. Let's, let's get into the game. Let's quit out. Exit that match. And let's have a look for another match. Uh, if you like this game, make sure to leave a like. And put down in the comments below... That you want to see some multiplayer action. And that will convince some of my friends on YouTube to join together to get this free to play open beta with the double XP during the January months <laughs> and play together and get some stuff going on together. 
And if you do the refer a friend link that is in the description below, then invite me to your party and we shall play some together when we're on a, uh, online together. Uh, it's done through Steam and you just literally download it. It doesn't take too long. It's all free to play. It's all very good graphics. And please, please, please use the refer a friend uh, down the bottom in the description, which I have yet to figure out what exactly that refer a friend does. But anyway, uh, we've got um, we've got three game modes online matches, right? We've got the new recruit game mode. We've got the team deathmatch game mode. Uh, it is first to 30 kills wins. Uh, team deathmatch is for players under t rank 10 only. And I'm currently a rank 3 after just two matches. So it didn't take long to level up, as it were. And there's this new Flashpoint game, which I have no idea about because it unlocks at rank 5. We can set up private matches, start a private server, join a private server, and things like that. So there is interaction with your friends and with us YouTubers available to you in this game as well. All free to play. Looks very good so far. I haven't seen what you would pay to win, as it were. And I always try and have a look at these free to play games from the point of view of once I've downloaded it and I'm playing it for free, how much is it actually going to cost me? How much is it going to cost? Yeah, uh, We've got four different character classes in the humans. The hunter, epic with a rapid fire bow. Uh, you, you can complete a tutorial to win, uh, get the siege bow for seven days, which is pretty cool to have the extra damage. The alchemist, who is basically cultists who throw alchemical potions and things and shoot alchemical bombs. And has a special healing mist reward thing that I don't know how I get yet. There's a scout which unlocks some point. It doesn't tell me when. Uh, which is a bow, an archer. And I saw some of those in one of our matches. So they must unlock for the free to play unless you can pay for them I guess. And there's the prophet which has these really cool pistols that uh, literally hail bullets around. On the other team, we've got the Vampires. The Reavers are very stealthy, agile, close combat, swift and silent and smart hunters. Uh, that's what I was playing in that you were just seeing. Uh, then there's the Tyrant. They're the great big bruisers and do big jumping down, blowing things up, damage and charge attacks and things like that. Uh, the Sentinel, which I've seen a few times in the first game that I played... They can swoop down on enemies and pick them up and just drop them again and do all sorts of swift strikes. They can basically fly, limitedly, but they look really cool and they're very hard to shoot out of the sky when you're playing against them. And then there's the Deceiver, which um, I haven't seen at all yet. I, I think I've seen it in-game, but I don't really know what their special abilities do. You can read here just to find out. Um, you do the quick tutorials... Then you jump straight into matches. There's an armory for basically your loadout. You've got uh, a couple of loadouts available there. Look, a couple of loadouts to choose from before you go into the game. Uh, loadouts for all the characters because, of course, you play humans half the match and vampires for the other half a match. And level each class independently by the looks of it. So my hunter is a level 2 hunter. My reaver is a level 1 reaver. I don't have any XP on a Tyrant, and I have a level 1 Alchemist. That's all I've played so far. So that's pretty cool. At level levels, you get class promotions as well, which is cool. Excellent. And there's up to level 25 by the looks of it. Not bad at all. Uh, inventory screen gives you all of the things that are in your inventory. You can buy and sell these things, I believe. Uh, maybe. Maybe I can sell them. It just tells you what they do, so you can pass them on and move them around a bit. Uh, and there's also the store. So let's have a look, see how much stuff there is at the store. This is like a welcome screen. You get a little welcome screen on every single bit. And this is the first time I've clicked on the store to have a look. And it wouldn't be a free-to-play Friday without having a look at how much a game costs you that it's so-called free-to-play. So let's have a quick look. Uh, we can buy special abilities, which cost either gold coins or blue credits. 
Now, I have earned 388 gold coins and I've got zero blue credits. So I would say then that the blue credits are real money. Real money, blue credits. But I could afford to buy some of this stuff already with my... Uh, with my gold that I've gained in the account. So I can buy it for seven days or I can buy it permanent. I see, I see, I see. So that's that's not too bad. And from what I've seen, it's not too hard to kill people in the game. Uh, these skins, though, a bit like League of Legends, the skins themselves are more expensive and they actually cost you real money. But you get them for permanent, so that's not too bad, is it? And it does make your characters look a bit cooler. Uh, boosters cost real money as well. Different classes cost real money as well, by the looks of it. You have to unlock them. Uh, what's that? I don't know. Some sort of loot crate. Maybe maybe at a certain level you get one of these things. Uh, buy runestones. Ah, uh, the runestones. So 3,000 runestones to buy a class that you haven't got already. And let's have a look. Uh, 1,000 runestones, about three pounds. That's not too bad. Pay-to-win games generally have something like this, but this doesn't strike me as too much pay-to-win. It strikes me a bit more like League of Legends in a 4v4, slightly different style of play. 4v4 League of Legends where you can buy add-ons for your champions, but your champions don't really need too much in the way of that. Uh, let's let's just crack on and get some gameplay into this episode because I'm keen to play some more. I'm keen keen to play, so I'm going to go into the new recruit stuff until I'm rank ten, just to keep practicing. Uh, let's see how long it takes to find a match. It's it's a brand new game. There's plenty of people online to play by right now because that was very quick, wasn't it? So I've had a game that made me wait maybe one or two minutes. Uh, the first game was pretty quick, like this one was, to lo log in and find a game. Uh, which is pretty nice. Pretty nice to find that people are there already. We're starting off with the vampires. We've got a little uh, total kills here. Whoever gets to 31st wins. Um, I'm going to give this tyrant a go now and see what happens. We've got charge, ignore pain, and uh, ground slam. And I've got a perk of frenzy today. Okay. Plus bonuses to my melee attacks. Okay, so it's a third person over the shoulder thing. I think I've seen a few games like this before. Um, you've got shift to sprint, but this character doesn't seem to be able to sprint. Maybe it can climb. Yes, it can climb like the others, so he's got that agility still. And I've got a right click to charge. Okay. Let's see what we can do damage wise. Whoa. I went splat as soon as I got close to the humans with all their missile fire. They did a lot of damage to me. Look, a lot of damage with their bows and cannons. So it is hard. It is hard. But once you get them in a certain situation, there's a there's a quite an aggressive vampire tactic and a very defensive human tactic. Uh, considering the humans are hunters and the vampires are the hunters hunted, uh, it makes sense really. But it depends on the team you're going to be playing with as to whether or not you're going to be able to pull off a simple tactical fight like that and also the composition of the team itself seems to go a long way towards it see if we can get there yeah, some, I want to get some damage in but I can't seem to hit anything I can't see anything to hit. I went down a lot of health there. Uh, let me see. Can I get some back from this? Execute. Uah. And drink the blood dry. And that's giving me my health back. Yes. Awesome. Oh, we, we killed everybody. Okay, everybody dead. Everybody dead. I think I've got slightly more health than the Reaver here as well. So uh, I've gone up past a thousand. I think when I was playing the Reaver, I only had a thousand health. Ground slam. Oh, I'm down though. He took me out in a head-to-head. -head. That was uh, that was pretty brutal. I thought I did quite a lot of uh, special moves and damage on him, 
But no, 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 no. He took me out in no time whatsoever. Okay, well, so far I've got no kills. Uh, where am I? Right at the bottom of the table. No kills and two deaths. That's how noob I am at this. Uh, but these other players may have uh, may have been around a bit and understand the game a lot better. And this is also my first time as one of these tyrant guys. Let's jump up the top. Wait, that was a bit of a glitch, wasn't it? Wait, that was a bit of a glitch indeed. Down here. And uh, can I climb up there? No. Nope. Gonna draw their fire down a bit. Can't get over there. Feel no pain. The last. Oh man, I wasn't actually doing any damage at all then. I don't think I did anything at all then. I was just sort of flailing, I guess, running around. This champion is a, a difficult one to master, I think. But every time we get close to the enemy and sort of pile on, they don't seem to have a much hope. Uh, oh, there's another one over there. They don't seem to have much hope when they do that. Let's go. Uh-huh. Oh, man, they move so fast out of the way. Don't blame them. I would as well. Oh, and there's that special move there, look. Give me this. X to execute. <laughs> okay, so I am terrible right now. Zero for four. Good job my team's doing a, a decent thing. Look, there's uh, one of them on a five for zero. He's obviously a bit of a pro. Uh, I don't know if you can see how much there is. But they've had 12 deaths and we've only had 10. So my four deaths, I'm probably better off staying back at, at this point. And not actually going forward into the fight. Because all I'm doing is charging in and dying. Uh, there's a lot more of a tactic before that. What? Somebody did a special... Special on me. Did I get a kill then though? Yes, I got a kill. Okay. So we stole someone else's kill. That's a good thing, isn't it? <laughs> As you level up, obviously, you're going to get some better abilities and things like that. There's no leveling up actually in the game. So I suppose the pay-to-win side means that you could put some money on it and buy some of the stuff that you would have to slowly but surely earn. Man, they stick together. They stick so close together that they literally just have all their firepower on you look look at the three of them they're all hanging about together which literally makes it impossible to charge in there so we've got to come up with a different tactic because of the way they're fighting and our guys are winning still overall it needs a couple of bruisers like uh, me and the other guy to actually get stuck in to be able to make the other team have to face one opponent at a time I got this thing on me again. Can I do my special? No. Oh man, he did my special again. <laughs> I take some killing, but I get there eventually. They, they get me down. They get me down. That's it. Kill them. They're, they're a bit more squishy, but look at the amount of firepower they have against us. They're, they're doing fairly well. 15 kills. They've killed me seven times. Uh, I'm like half the team deaths is me. That's crazy. I should possibly try and do a different tactic then. Let's see if we can. Let's see if we can get better at this game over the course of time. Because I really enjoy playing it. So it would be nice to be able to get better at it. It's a very smooth looking game. It's a very good looking graphics. Uh, it's a lot of fun to play. And I'm wondering how much fun the multiplayer side of things will be with actual uh, tactics. And once I've got my class assigned, as it were, the the champion I like to play the most, which is possibly Reaver on the vampires right now. So we'll see about the humans in a bit. We've only got a couple of minutes left of this game. Ha <laughs> Okay, they all did a bit of damage to me again. Look, I charged in. Boom. That spread them up. Knock them down and beat them up a bit. 
That's good. That's good. I need to <clears throat> really need to learn how to play this game tonight. But I'm going to play it quite a bit, I should think. Uh, I am enjoying the kind of game, so where, why not? Eh? Oh, I'll run straight into the trap again. Let's get around here. Oh, those guys over there. That's it. I gave my team the chance to jump in there. That's what I did. That's what I did. 24 plays 18. It's a good job. Ah, guys. I've got 7 for 5, 7 for 2. And then there's me and another noob doing uh, doing virtually nothing. Just losing all our lives. Okay, there's somebody over there. Oh, there's two of them over there. I feel no pain. I can't fight. That's what the trouble is. Okay. Now I get it. Now I get it. When I use my feel no pain ability, I can't actually swing to hit. I'm literally made of stone. So it's like um, a special for when you charge straight in. You let them draw fire onto you while you've charged in and then charge back out again. I can't actually physically attack them when I do that. I'll have to remember that. We are winning though, 27 to 23, so I'm still going to get a victory. Or is that the other way around? No, the humans! The humans are getting the victory, not us. We're five away from victory. Okay, we lost. Good job, Nemson, good job. So now we're going to switch over and see how good the um, archery side of things is. The humans. Uh, I'm going to go with the other guy, because this tyrant was very difficult to play. Uh, there's probably a specialist ability there. Let's see. I'm going to go with the hunter again. i got the bowler and the explosive shot. Yep. We're going to play as a straightforward hunter. Because I've also got this nice, cool crossbow thing as a free for seven day thing for doing the thing. Doing the tutorial. That was it. And the tactic for humans. Stick together. Focus on being all together. That's a thing. see if we can hold them off from this point then it looks like this is where we're going to be doing our fighting looks like this is what we want this is where we want to be and there's some guys up there let's throw in some bits throwing some bombs at us it's okay though I want to be up there. I don't want to be down there. Die! Die, 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 die! Wait. Oh man, I got absolutely mullered by three Reavers there! I managed to... I managed to bowler one of them. <laughs> okay. So they've got four now. I see. I see. Yeah, they're, they've they got four to our zero. They know how to play, man. They know how to play. And my team does not. Hope I get onto a better team next time. Oh, the bowler's missed. Oh. Run away. <laughs> you died a warrior's death. Okay. Now they've got us at our spawn site by the looks of it. That's good days, good days. Okay. 
Got shots on. Our Reaver. Our Reaver's down there. He's doing the damage. Take the oh, I got jumped on by a Reaver from behind. They got a really cool leap attack. <laughs> oh my days. Alright. Okay, 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 okay. Come on with you. Look, that's the Reaver pounce. That's awesome. <laughs> I think I like playing the Reavers and the Archers mostly. Uh, okay, there's two of us together here. Let's see if we can hold a position. We should probably get over to our friends over this side and team up. Because a team of archers is going to be a lot better than no team of archers. When he goes blue like that, you can't get him. Uh, I wonder if hiding in trees does any good. Oh my days. Oh, I got jumped up from behind and ripped my throat out. Can I get out of it? Can I get out of it? Can I run? Can I run? Can I get out of it? Oh, no, he chased me all the way up the stairs. Of course, he's more agile than me, so he's bound to get me. This is just death after death. This is the set many deaths of Nemson in Noskoth. Many deaths of Nemson. Get up, my buddy! Okay, we're going to stick together. We need a better place to be, guys. We need a better place to be. Is it up on top here is the best place to be? Focus on being up here. Oh, poison, poison, poison attacks. Poison attacks. Loads of them. Oh, man, I'm on 60. One hit and I'm dead again now. Uh, where can I get healing from here? Can I get healing from this health pack here? E to refill. I have low health. Find health. Where do I find health? Where do I find health? Where's a healing station? Give me a healing station. E. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh. That's up to do it. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him now. Kill him all. Okay, let's get back into this fight fast. Yeah, I killed one. Oh, no. Okay, keep moving. Keep moving. Headshots? No, no headshots. Headshots don't do it. What strikes me is the vampires like this, they can do a quick kill, a burst of damage, and then just heal up from the dead victim that they've got. Uh, which is fairly cool, fairly awesome. Uh, if we can get these health stations and stuff sorted out, and understand how to use them all properly, then there's going to be advantages. As the humans again. How do we get up there? Somebody get up there. They're crawling them out. Oh, and he... Oh! <laughs> and then as soon as he goes down in health, he just drinks my blood and gets all back up again. It's pretty awesome. Oh, man, I'm just... I want to play the other team now. And yet, uh, I'm on this team. Good mindless violence. I need to be able to think about it a bit more though. Hey, what happened there? A bit of a glitch. Went up a wall around the corner. Okay, what have we got over here? Let's see if we can do some stealthy stealth mode. There's somebody over there. We're all at this end here. What can we do about it? Oh man! Get him off me! 
Everybody else kill him! <laughs> oh man. We're being absolutely owned and stalked and hunted and all sorts over there, aren't we? Man, I'm just wasting shots. Oh, that was a swooper. Swooped in, and then I got smashed by the big guy. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. What are we on? We're on nine deaths. Yeah, we're on nine deaths. We have contributed to over half of the loss of this match. Oh, my word, he's already there. Oh, my days. I can't. I have low health. Yes, I do. Smash, smash, smash. He killed me. <laughs> still. Still, it's fun. Can only get better, folks. It can only get better. Oh, end of game. We lost. So I got uh, three credits from that and some from losing and uh, yeah. Round one, lost. Round two, lost. Return to the lobby. Experience wise, got a bit more experience on the hunter. That's not too bad. Match summaries and all that. Yeah. Okay. Okay, well that was Nozgoth. My first look and a very terrible job I did of making it look really awesome. I think that the game's got so much potential. The game is open beta, live now. Check out in the description below the referral link and come and play. Come and show me what you're made of. Let's get some practice in and show up in this 4v4 matchup. Have fun, everybody. I'll see you very soon on another episode. <laughs>